Well, hello. Good morning. How are you? I hope you're all well. It's Dave here and uh, welcome back to the channel. Now, as you know, we've, uh, we've got the new Travel Master and uh, very, very happy with it. And I discovered something about it that uh, it struck me as being very useful. And you may have seen it on the handover video, but there's a plug hole in the bottom of the garage right over beside the door. Now, I uh, went and had a bit measure at that, as you do, and I'll find a little bit. I took my, uh, I don't know what you call these, vernier calipers, whatever it is, to measure the size of the hole, as one does, and discovered that the plug hole is 30 millimetres. Now then, I started thinking, and I know it's a dangerous thing, for David to start thinking, but David started thinking. As you know, uh, or you may know if you've been with us any length of time, we've got um, some eco flows. Um, we've got two, or we had two. We had the uh, the Delta Two and the Delta Max Two K. Well, as luck would have it, prior to Christmas, um, in the, the the Black Friday sales, the extra batteries for the Delta Max 2K, which is a further 2K each, um, came up on sale. And I managed to get two for the price of one, which I thought wasn't a bad idea. So we've now got um, a Delta, Delta Max 2K and two 2K extra batteries, which gives us 6K in total, and they will live in the garage quite nicely. And then I thought to myself, but if we want to power the van from them, what do we do? Well, of course, as everybody knows, these are available. This is a three meter, 13 amp to plug it in your van, 16 amp plug. And of course the, uh, the Delta two max or the Delta max, sorry, I will get that right. The Delta max will provide 13 amps and looking at what the van needs to run, 13 amps is fine because I've got it running on 13 amps at the minute. And I've checked how much it's, in fact, I've limited it down to 10. So I know we can run from 13 amps and six kilowatts would give you a lot of time. So then I started to think, well, hang on, that means leaving the garage door open if you're going to do that. But there's a 30 mil hole already drilled in the bottom of the, the garage with a plug in. So it's meant to be there. So I went hunting around and I found this. There we are. This is a 16 amp inline plug and socket that is waterproof. And as luck would have it, its external dimensions are small. I shall show you because I can. So the widest part would be here, I think. I'll just screw that on a bit. Open that out. Connect it up. And as you will see, can you see? 25 mils. 25 mils. So that means, that means that I can quite happily put a split in the cable, connect the two sides, the plug and the socket up of, of that uh, fly and lead setup, this little beastie. The right way around of course so that that needs to be on the live side that needs to be no that's that needs to be on the live side the side where the 13 amp plug is and that needs to be where the 16 amp connector that plugs into the van goes so we'll put those two together and put it down through the hole um i may show you me making the joint and then we'll have a look into the van and see how it goes from there so here we go, shortish end because it's going to come up from in. Let's just cut that as you do, and then we can uh, start to do the necessary. Move that out of the way for the moment because I don't need that bit. So here, fill 
first things first always make sure that's on because otherwise you're going to right twist and that's going to be more than plenty for that so that's good so we just undo this slide that on and it'll tighten in and then it's literally just bear the wires and go Screw this bit on. Like that. And bring the tightening knob down. Screw that down tight. And that is beautifully gripped as you can see last little tighten and that's it that's the whole of that bit done I'll do the same on the other side and then come back to you so I need to screw this up <coughs> And that's it, that end's done, plug end's done, and the only thing you've got to watch, you may be able to see, just here, there's a tab, and the tab needs to match up with the little tab hole on there. So when you bring them together, tab hole, tab on the, on the, on the, on the hole, to the tab in the plug Can you see it try again there it is the tab there so tab to tab and that's it as you tighten the nut the whole thing gets in and that's it job's done so when you're finished, just unscrew and your whole thing comes to bits. Now we need to put it into the van. That's the next step. Right, well, we're out in the uh, the garage and uh, I've got my leads. Here they are. Now, I should say that this here plug hole is 30 mil at the top but it narrows to 22 mil at the bottom so you may need to use something like one of these things a uh, what do you call it they're a, a conical um drill bit step drill bit just to to widen it out just a touch but then where is the the end that we want here is the end very easily slots up connects up and we're ready to go so that's it done and you can see how easily it falls out that makes life very very simple so there we are job done on a windy day i'm going to go in and we'll look at doing the batteries another time thank you so much for watching if you have been and if you've stuck with us this far i know it's not a massively clever one but this could work for a lot of people if you've got a plug hole in your garage and you want to keep your batteries out the way you know your eco flows or your whatever they're called um so there you go i'll put links in the description down below for the bits i've used and we'll see you next time but until then enjoy the roads enjoy the skies but most of all enjoy your lives see you later Ta -da.